with the virtual reality project, we can put drivers into an immersive environment by putting them into a VR headset. Um, this gets them a good feel and look of what the car is going to be like, um, so we can get that vital feedback for the new trains. So they'll see the full cab, so they'll be able to see for themselves from the seated position, and um, they can move around if requires, and um, they can touch out and make sure that these new buttons and the new screens that they'll be able to see uh, are helpful and beneficial to their job. What has the feedback been like? Uh, it's been really positive. Uh, drivers have come forth because we're just asking them to come down as and when they uh, are available to do so. Um, so we've had you know well over 100 responses now, so it's been really, really positive. And what will the feedback be used for? The feedback will be used for the, the final cab design. Um, it will be fed into that and to make sure it's the, the best it can be for all drivers. I think it's a great bit of kit. It literally gives us a view into the future of what Metro cabs will look like. Um, as a driver, it's very, very uh, useful aid to be able to see into the cab of the future before it actually comes. Uh, it allows us uh, some to give some feedback on, on what we like, what might work, what might not work. And being able to feed that back to Stadler, I think it's, a, it's an excellent opportunity. And what's been the main benefit for you? Again, being able to have a look into the cabs before they come along, and being able to feed back any um, issues or what we like, what we don't like to Stadler. Uh, they've been very, very open and uh, they, they are listening to what we, we have to say, which is it's another um, great use of the VR system. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a brilliant bit of kit that you can have a look to see what's coming before they actually go and build it uh, in design stage, uh, I think I think it's it's really good.